We essentially have come up with a plan where uh, we're gonna take the front off of the Target store. In the front, there's gonna be a nice plaza area, a little bit of a public space, and then there will be facing you right out front there, kind of a row of retail, you know, as you would expect to see at kind of a mall town center area. And some of those will definitely involve local black owned businesses that will be involved there. But of course, this is a very deep building. It's 127,000 square feet. So it's a big box, needless to say. But then when you push back, you're gonna get into a number of uh, bigger users that are mostly more community facing. So the one that's been announced in the media is what they call the PACE facility or program of all around care for the elderly. A program that allows seniors to age in place. It has everything in this 13,000 square foot facility that someone would typically have during the course of their day at like a senior living or even a nursing home facility, but they actually live at home. So the shuttle bus will go around, kind of pick them up in the morning, they'll come, they can have some health consultations or they can just have a meal or two or they can socialize and play cards. It's really a cool senior asset for the community. The other big uses in the back are gonna include a larger touch point. So we'll have probably twice the size of the facility we currently have at Mondalmin. Whiting Turner will have a small midtown office there. So that's that'll be kind of fun. Our people will be able to use that for midtown meetings and such. And then in addition, we have a number of workforce development programs that are going to go in there. You know, among other things, what we're trying to accomplish here is we're trying to prove a model. And that is that there is tremendous untapped potential in some com some of the communities that we view as, you know, underserved and underdeveloped. And, you know, the, just the human capital alone that is kind of stuck in these communities and doesn't have a lot of access to networking and social capital and and being able to leverage their energy their entrepreneurial spirit their ideas you know our goal is to unlock that to give people an opportunity to come together from all over baltimore and create something really uplifting and something special true success for this project at mondalman would be for other people and particularly business leaders to look at it and say, wow, look what just happened at Mondalman. Why can't we do that at Neighborhood XYZ? I mean, that to me would be the dream come true where people could would realize that, yes, it's, it's a leap of faith. It certainly is an investment. But at the end of the day, releasing the untapped potential in these communities way, way overshadows any investment that we're putting in to get these things started.